Hi, thanks for joining me again on this edition of the Guru Brew. Today we're going to continue our discussion and our tutorials into PHP programming. This is number two of PHP lessons in our first lesson, which is found right up here in this link. Uh, we discuss the syntax and how you can get started in PHP, and this is an ongoing thing to that. So with that in mind, we're going to talk about print and the echo statement. If you're ready, let's get started. Okay, on our screen here, I'm going to open up the uh, folder to the web server that serves all of our PHP and HTML pages. And I am going to right click and start a new text document. I am going to call this uh, test.php. Okay on that. Now if you notice, it's, it's asking me if I want to change the extension because it might become unstable. I'm just going to say yes on that. Now I can go ahead and click up here on this and it will open it in Notepad++. Now I like to name the full files first so that after that I can just save them and it will remember the name. It's just a practice that I like to do. Now if you remember from our last lesson to start a PHP um, file, the first command is the bracket, the question mark, and lowercase php. That tells the interpreter that this is a PHP page and to treat it as so. I'm going to jump down a couple lines and I'm going to make a comment. So I like to comment my pages near the top so I know what's going on. And that's done with two forward slashes. I'm just going to say this is a test of the print and is echo statement. And if you notice, it is in blue, and that's one of the features of the Notepad++ is it color codes certain commands so you can tell at a moment's notice what's going on. And the command that we're going to uh, work with today is called print. So the syntax for print is P-R-I-N-T, followed by a quote, and then what you'd like to send to the screen, which is this is a print test followed by another quote and to finish the whole thing off you need a semicolon enter I'm going to jump down a couple lines and I'm going to end the PHP page with a question mark and an angle bracket and since I've already named this page at the beginning I'm going to just go ahead and save let's test this what should happen is everything that's in between these two quote marks should print to the screen. This is a print test. Let's try it out see if it works. I just have to direct my web browser to my web server. Type in the page that I want. And there it is. If you notice, um, it came to the screen. It's very generic looking. It's in the lowercase font. Nothing special, but it worked great. Let's go back to our, our code and let's try the echo statement. Let's uh, jump down a couple here. Instead of uh, print, we're going to say echo. Uh, it uses the same syntax as the print command, so um, we're just going to it's a test of the quote mark and semicolon to end. So to recap again, it is the same syntax exactly as print with the quotations and the semicolon at the end and the command is the only thing different. Let's go ahead and save our page. Go back to our web browser and refresh it and it worked perfectly so what has happened is it shoved both of these lines in together now how would we separate them well if we take a clue from HTML what we know about HTML we know that BR will give a carriage return so let's try it in between this print and echo statement let's uh, go with print again print quotation let's go with angle bracket BR angle bracket quotation 
and semicolon. Again, this statement right here is borrowed from HTML and it should give us a empty line or carriage return. Let's save it. Go to our web page and reload. So yes, the BR has given us a second line and it shoved this test uh, echo thing on the second line. So now that we know that we're allowed to put HTML code in our PHP print and echo statements, let's try something a little fancier. In this echo statement, let's put a angle bracket and B for bull. Let's see what happens. Save and reload. Works great. So the bold has bolded this section right here. Now to do this properly what we should do is end the statement just as we would with HTML by putting uh, an, a forward slash with the, the B to end the bolding. We just save that and test it one more time. And it didn't make any change, but it did what we wanted. Let's try another one. Let's uh, let's go with echo statement, um, and let's go with the bolded italics, which is I. And again, to do it right, we should also end it. Let's save and reload. So now this line right here is bold italic, so that works really great. One other thing that I wanted to discuss with you is what if we wanted the quotation marks within our print statement? How would we be able to do that, being that we're actually using the quote marks as part of our command? Well, we can use a backslash uh, in front of our quote, which will escape and give us um, the quote marks in our statement. So I'll give you an example here. I'll jump in between here and I'll say print quote this is a this is an example of a um, Let's put a quote around the word quote. Now to make these quotes actually show up as quotes, we're going to have to treat them with a backslash. I'm going to show you what would happen first if we didn't do it. We left it just like this. Save. Reload. It threw a syntax error, and what the error is telling us is on line seven, um, it's it's got an unexpected quote, and that's true because we've got way too many quotes in here. We've got one, two, three, four quote marks. So to turn these actual quote marks into quote marks, like I said, we have to use a backslash as a escape key. So if I just put that right in front of there and that right in front of there this backslash should tell this quote mark to print instead of use it as part of the command and the only two quote marks that it's going to be using is the beginning and the end let's try it save let's reload our page hey works perfect this is an example of a quote with the quote marks on it and uh, if you notice um, it says mark test is a test of echo mark hmm, let's check that out. what's going on with that oh quote mark uh, what we needed to do here was put a BR to separate this we could either echo one here or stick it here uh, it would probably be easier just to put it here so BR would give us a new line save let's reload there it goes. So this should get you started with playing with the print and the echo statement and throwing some HTML in there. You can use headings, you can use italics, bolts. It works really good. Um, I'm going to leave you with this now. Um, 
Bean's print and echo are very similar. Um, I recommend that you use the print statement. The echo is more single sided and as we get into future code you'll learn that the print is more useful. And um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave you with this for now. Uh, play with this and the next class we're going to talk about variables and how we can change the information going in and coming out. Um, so thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.